Hi everyone, this is just going to be a quick video showing you guys um, my latest mount of the GoPro Hero 3 uh, under the visor, as you can see here. Uh, I've had quite a few messages asking uh, how to do this mount and I've looked up myself quite a few different ideas before I before I did this. Um, one of them being I purchased the latest GoPro, the frame mount, which as you can see is absolutely, is pretty awesome. It uh, really makes the GoPro nice and small. Um, it can be mounted uh, using this case on this mount, but it's slightly, you get sort of the top uh, clamp of the case in your vision. Whereas if you have the frame on, it you pretty much cannot see any of it. There's your line of sight, as you can see. It's just straight underneath. Uh, also, the latest frame mount for the GoPro comes with this nifty little clip-on lens, protective lens, whereas I believe the one before did not. So obviously, once you crack the front screen, the main lens of the actual camera, you've written off the camera, which isn't all too good. Um, so yeah, coming to the mount, I've done a few uh, ideas. This is actually, I think, my third attempt at doing this. The first one, it pretty, it literally just dropped off as soon as I mounted the GoPro on there. Uh, second one uh, was too, actually, too far forwards, as you can see, the mount. So I actually mounted it about here, which, uh, being realized I had much more room, I could set it back so it wouldn't show up on my line of sight when biking. Um, so yeah, I had to take that off unfortunately. And then I mounted it further back. So I used the flat adhesive mount, as you can see. Set it furthest back, that would be easiest to change the positions of the camera. So right now, it's pretty much far forward, that's what I'll have the view as. You just hold it back like that. Um, then if you want more of the handlebars and more of the like tricks you'll be pulling, you can push it back a bit, as you can see. So yeah, you, you have much more movement. So for the, uh, to solve it, to solve the mount from um, the first idea, what I moved on is to actually get the 3M head adhesive, make sure it is that, because it's just the strongest adhesive you can buy. It's not too expensive. You can buy the pads on eBay or Amazon. And I actually cut a strip. If you can see, I don't know where the camera shows up. As you cut a slip down the middle of the mount, because of this line groove running along the top of the visor, it's on the inside, obviously it's the opposite. So there's an indent, wherever you can see at the back there, so uh, under, yeah, under there, to uh, pretty much stick much better and block out this gap, so it holds on. As you can see, it's not going to go anywhere. Uh, so I stuck that onto the adhesive mount, and then all together, whack that on, and it's a lot better, a lot better. So yeah, uh, try and get some close-ups there. Shine it in the light so you guys can see. Like so. So yeah, it pretty much gives you a real point of view. view. Um, so that's about it. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Um, before I go, actually I'm off to the Alps this Saturday which will be awesome for two weeks, 14 days of just absolutely smashing the runs. So I cannot wait. Uh, first week I'll be at my holiday sort of house out there, the family house, uh, hitting Lazar area uh, with my best mate. And then the second week we'll be going out to Morzine, two hours north, which is like the best bike park in Europe. Um, and we'll meet a couple guys out there, got the apartment all sorted and be doing a week at Morzine, which I cannot wait for, to um, take the uh, new Canyon DHX down as well. Super stoked. Anyways, 
I shall catch you all guys soon. Thanks for watching. Cause I'm coming at you like a dog.